productivity settings will allow you to define whether or not a particular program or website should count as a productive activity, a neutral activity, or an unproductive activity. These categorizations will be factored into the individual user's productivity score. Like other settings, productivity is group specific, which means you can have unique definitions for different departments or groups within your organization. A good example of this is how social media sites like Facebook or Instagram might be productive for your marketing team, but not productive for your finance team. Now let's take a look at how we manage our productivity settings. From the main dashboard, we'll go up into the main menu and click on Settings, Productivity Settings. As long as you have monitored users that are actively checking in, you should start to see a list populated with a variety of websites and programs. This list of programs and websites will automatically update based on user activity from monitored devices. It's important to note that you need to enable recording for websites and programs in your recording and blocking settings in order to populate this list. At the top, you can select the group that you'd like to manage the productivity settings for. You can also clone group settings from other groups. There's a few different types of filters that you're able to use to make this list a little bit more digestible. For example, I can look at websites only or applications only. I can also filter by their rating, productive, unproductive, and neutral. By default, any new website or application that is populated in this list will be tagged as neutral. To change the productivity rating of a specific website or application, it's as simple as clicking on the productive, neutral, or unproductive radio buttons. Establishing these settings after user activity starts to upload to the InnerGuard platform is critical in understanding and measuring the productivity of your users. We recommend that you revisit this list regularly so that you can categorize any new activities that may populate from users and their behaviors.